The current passing through the galvanometer Ig is equal to S by G plus S into I. <coughs> the current passing through the shunt is equal to G by G plus S into I. Here is also total current by total resistance. Here is also total current by total resistance. But while calculating the galvanometer current, you want to take into the consideration of the shunt resistance. While calculating the shunt resistance, you want to consider what to say that is galvanometer resistance. Now, here in this case, what is the expression for shunt? Right from the second equation, from the second equation, Ig into G, Ig into G is equal to what to say Is into S, Is into S. Therefore, Ig into G is equal to Is into S. Now, according to the Kirchhoff first law, therefore incoming current that is I is equal to right outgoing currents. Therefore, here Ig plus Is. Therefore, Is is equal to I minus Ig. Therefore, Ig into G is equal to Is. Is is equal to I minus Ig into S. What I require? Expression for the center resistance. Expression for the center resistance. Therefore, here S is equal to Ig into G by I minus what do you say Ig. Now, S is equal to G by what do you say I minus Ig by what do you say I. Ig. Therefore, here S is equal to Ig into G by I minus Ig. As Ig is a turned into denominator, therefore G by I minus Ig by Ig. Therefore, here S is equal to G by I by Ig, I by Ig, what do you say, minus 1. Now, this is the expression for shunt. It is to be simplified. Now, let us consider. Whenever I current is passing through the galvanometer, nth part of the current is passing through the galvanometer. Let us consider nth part, nth part of the total current, right? That is through the galvanometer, through the galvanometer, how much the current is passing through the galvanometer? That is nth part of the current is passing through the galvanometer. Therefore, what is the total current? I is the total current, right? In the total current, only nth part is passing through the galvanometer and the remaining current is passing through the, what to say, right, shunt resistance. Now, I is the total current. Only nth part, that means I by n, current is passing through the galvanometer. Remaining current, I minus I by n current is passing through the shunt resistance. Now, I current is there, I current. Right? Here the current splits. As the current splits, only nth part of the total current is passing through the galvanometer. That means I by n is passing through the galvanometer. Remaining current is I minus I by n current is passing through the shunt resistance. Thereby, what is the current passing through the galvanometer? Ig is equal to what to say I by n. Therefore, n is equal to I by Ig. Now, therefore, S is equal to what to say? S by G. I by Ig is equal to what to say? N minus 1. Therefore, this is called the expression for shunt resistance. S is equal to G by N minus 1. Next one. Therefore, if the n, nth part of the total current is passing through the galvanometer, that nth part is n, therefore, S is equal to G by n minus 1. Therefore, this is the expression for the shunt. 